Today, we're going to be adding a sound deadener and heat shield to our RV's doghouse. And we're going to do that because this is a gas RV. And if you saw our video about how to drive a Class A RV, you'll know it gets super noisy in here. So we're going to quiet it down. And we're going to use this hood liner by Dynamat. Let's open this up and see what we've got inside. In the box we have the hood liner, which is three quarters of an inch of sound deadening material. What I'm using for this job is the hood liner, Dynamat tape, and a roller. The instructions for this are really easy. Your first step is to measure your doghouse. Second step is to peel off the backing. And the third step is to stick it in place. Simple. If you have a late model bounder or a vacationer, uh, ours is a 2021, this will apply to you. So everything I do will work for your doghouse. First, we're going to take the plastic trim off. And it's really easy because it's Velcroed on. So I just have to pull it up and it comes right off. It has five Velcro patches like this around it. So they come right off. So let's put that off to the side for later. I recommend when you take off that plastic strip that you clean the edges of your doghouse because it collects a lot of dirt. Ours is really filthy. Now we begin disassembly. Remove all the screws. And there are a lot of screws. You have more screws behind the carpeting. Make sure you get those. Ran into a slight problem. The top of the doghouse has different screws and they are, I'm, I'm not even prepared. I don't have a head that fits a square. These things are actually square. So I'm going to have to go down the road and get a, a set of square Allen wrenches or tools of some kind to get these out. I had to go and get the right tool. See, they're making me buy new stuff. Let's just get these out. Uh, and then we should be ready, almost ready to take these off. Oh my gosh. This has become a production. Now that we have the screws out, I can pull out this part of the doghouse, the top. I'm trying to get this top piece off and it doesn't want to come out. And I think it's because of the wires. Ugh. All right, this comes up. Yeah, see, we've got these wires here. I'm going to try to disconnect the wires and um, pull this top piece off. There's also another screw right here in the middle that I didn't know about. I've been playing with this and it's kind of a challenge, but this is what I had to do. I had to push this down up front so I could get this top piece off. Now I can disconnect these wires. And there, one piece finally off. This is screwed to a plastic piece attached to the doghouse. The screws are back here. I'm telling you, they hit screws everywhere on this thing. Ah, finally. Carpeting underneath the storage area are three more screws. So let's get those out. Now with the last three, three screws out, I'm gonna to try to take this out. But first, let me take the cup holders out. There we go, those come right out. And now we'll remove the doghouse. Oh yeah, it's free. And there you go. Let's, let's take this outside. It looks like the old shielding that was in here is uh, coming apart. Some of it's actually coming off of the doghouse. Now there's several ways you could try to mold this. I've seen people use painter's tape and packing tape and cardboard. Uh, I'm trying aluminum foil because it molds in here very nicely. So I'm going to try to take it out carefully and make cuts where I need to so I can flatten it out onto the actual liner and then I can put it in. So wish me luck. I'm drawing out a template using this foil, which I cut at the corner so I can lay it flat. 
And now I think I have a template I can use and cut out and form onto the center of the engine. Make sure you do this with all your pieces of foil or whatever you use, tape or cardboard, so that you can lie it flat and make a great template. Finish step one, measuring. And now we go on to step two, which is removing the paper release liner and uh, sticking one side in place at a time because once this is stuck in there, it's not coming out. Aim this back. I'll get it down in here before it sticks to the back end. That's perfect. It's perfect. Oh, oh my good job, gosh. John. Oh my gosh. You did a really good job. I was so That's perfect. I was so scared. You did a great job. This out. <laughs> All right. Yeah. <laughs> no. He's using my kitchen scissors. My scissors. <laughs> my kitchen scissors. <laughs> It's for a good cause. Well, John, I have to say, you did an awesome job. <laughs> Thanks. This is looking pretty darn good. Yeah. Your measurements were pretty darn close. So, uh, you know, this is the first time I've seen somebody do it with aluminum foil. Yeah, that was different. You made aluminum foil work. <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> so the next step is right now he's just taping up the like the loose edges like where some of the cuts had to be made like uh, right down in here this area he'll put some tape on those areas and then we'll take it inside and put it back on top of the engine yeah that'll be great all right let's get this inside and put it on that was easier than I got it out all right Make sure my cables are not underneath. And there we go. Look at that. It fits like a glove. Just add screws and we're done. The hardest part about doing this job was putting the doghouse back in. Now let's go on the road and see how well this works. If you've seen our video on how what it's like driving a Class A RV, one of the issues we talked about was the amount of noise when we entered from Route 32 onto Route 70. We're about to hit that same spot now, so I'm going to go ahead and turn the camera around and we'll see if there's a difference in sound. Hey, this is still cold. This is so cool. Mm. I like it. This stuff works. <laughs>